Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today I am showing you how to bridge in pool. Now, what a bridge is, is basically just what you set your hand on as you hold your cue. So you're holding the cue in the back with your dominant hand, and then your other hand is holding the cue up. So I'm going to show you how different ways to hold the cue up. So I'm going to start with a simple open bridge. So that's where the cue is pretty much free going on its own. There's nothing to hold it down as I'm going to show you later. Uh, but how I do this is I stick my thumb and my index finger pretty much they're touching each other and my index and my middle finger are pointing one way and my ring and my pinky finger usually point another and my ring finger usually like taps the table a couple times. It just happens by reflex. Um, you'll see pros do it and one day it just started happening and I don't think there's there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it just started happening one day, so I let it happen. And I saw pros did it, so I was like, okay, okay. So I'll go with it. So thumb, you want to keep the cue moving on your thumb. Uh, some people do like that, and that is not good because look how the cue can just like wobble around. So keep your thumb really like firm. I press my thumb against my index finger really hard. Uh, pretty much until my thumb is red, but it does it's not uncomfortable because it's just become natural for me now So the open bridge when you're hitting a ball looks like this Make sure that you follow through Straight through the table So that was the open bridge and now I'm just going to show you a little close-up of the open bridge Okay guys, so now moving on to the closed bridge. And the closed bridge I only really use uh, if I need like a power stroke, like if I need to draw the cue ball back a far away, or if I need to uh, follow the cue ball a far away, because it's a really tight bridge, it's a snug bridge, so I'm currently cleaning my shaft uh, because that's really what makes the closed bridge work without a glove. You see me wearing a glove and you ask why I wear a glove and the only reason is because the cue slides a lot easier and I don't have to clean my shaft every five seconds. So the closed bridge looks like the open bridge which I forgot to explain something about the open bridge. The open bridge is really easy when you need to apply spin because all you need to do is just raise your hand or lower your hand. So it can be done a variety of different ways. Now I'm going to show you like bridges on a rail next. Uh, so, close bridge. So take your open bridge and then wrap your index finger around and move your middle finger over. So my middle finger and my thumb are touching and my index finger is wrapped around and my pinky and my ring finger are kind of just naturally in their place. Uh, it's best to do what your body wants to naturally do as long as it is pretty stable. So your shaft either has to be really clean or you have to be wearing a glove uh, for those of you who don't know what the shaft is, it's from here to here to wherever it unscrews. Uh, so yeah, it looks like that. If you need to put top spin, you raise it up. If you need to put back spin, you lower it. So that is the uh, closed bridge. I like doing it with a glove. I, don't, I hardly do it uh, when I don't have a glove. So that was the closed bridge. And now let's move to the tripod bridge. Okay, so the tripod bridge is very similar to the open bridge. Uh, it's just when you have to like hit over a ball, and it's best not to do that when you have to hit over a ball, because look how unstable it is, look how wobbly it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to get down in like our closed bridge, and we're going to leave a finger back for support, and we're going to use our thumb still. Our thumb is still pressed against our index finger. We have our middle finger in the back for support, uh, you can also put the ring finger back, but I don't like doing that. That's just uncomfortable for me. And I keep on like the points of my finger. So like my pinky, my ring, and my index are down. And my thumb is pressed against my index with my middle finger back. And that just creates a much more stable bridge. So tripod bridge usually used if you are on a rail. 
uh, or if you're trying to hit the cue ball when it is over another ball. So it's definitely a bridge you need to learn. So now let's move on to a couple bridges on the rail. Okay guys, so now let's get to bridging on the rail and this is where most people have their problems. See, they have a ball on the rail and they have to hit it. Just imagine this one is the cue ball real quick. And they just don't know how to get a stable cue and they end up hitting and missing their target. And they end up rushing everything. So I'm going to show you the open bridge and the closed bridge on the rail. And you can basically choose what you like uh, for the situation. You really have to be creative in bridging because there's going to be so many options. There's going to be shots where you have to put your knee up on the table to reach something. There's going to be shots where you lift your back leg up. There's going to be shots where you're bridging over a pocket. You just have to be creative and kind of just make up your own bridges. Uh, but these bridges are not made up. These are bridges used by pretty much everybody who bridges on a rail. So when I bridge on the rail, my ring finger and my pinky are always on the rail. So they're always on the rail. And my middle finger is questionable. just depends on which direction I'm hitting the ball. My middle finger is sometimes on it, sometimes half hanging off, and sometimes on the table. So for this uh, shot, these shots I'm probably going to do it on the table. So open bridge. So ring and pinky on the rail. Middle finger on the table, depends on how big your hands are. Index finger on the table, and thumb pressing in uh, index finger. So we're basically just taking our open bridge and putting two fingers on the rail and putting the other ones down. So again, two fingers facing that way, two fingers facing that way. Thumb pressed against index finger. Cue on that little ridge. Follow through. So that's a very stable bridge. For on the rail. So now I'm going to show you the closed bridge option. So it's pretty similar. Two fingers on the rail, other three on the table, and then now our middle finger is wrapping around coming this way, and our thumb and our index finger are kind of in a loop. Our thumb is pressed against our index finger and our index finger is pressing against our middle finger, so they're kind of at a little intersection right here. So they're all three touching right here. and the cue is just going to slide on that little groove between your thumb and your index finger and just go right through. So that was bridging. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know the video was pretty short, uh, but I really hope you learned from this video.